Hey guys, um, wanted to show you guys something that I installed uh, the other day, and that is this. This is a uh, Hi-Fi Max uh, Android uh, iDrive unit, if you want to call it iDrive, but um, it comes with the uh, controller. Uh, I install this as part of the package, um, and then the screen. It uh, requires you to uh, modify the dash, but all in all, it was a pretty straightforward install um, if you're brave enough. But anyway, let's get into the um, navigation of this. All right, so it has this splash screen that could change it to a couple different ones. And then obviously it connects to my iPhone. And then once it connects to my iPhone, I uh, typically go to home and then I just go ahead and click music, which is tied to the CarPlay, the wireless CarPlay. So then it'll just initiate and you can play music, um, things like that. So it's, it's, it's growing on me quite a bit. The other thing you could do once it boots up is you can go into the main display. It tries to mimic the iDrive system. You could just navigate across. You can play videos, car info. The dashboard, the dashboard is interesting because it actually ties to your CAN bus and the RPM reflect what's actually going on in your car, which is really nice. And, and, and likewise, the fuel, uh, if the brake is on and the temperature outside and your seatbelt. So that's very interesting. And that's within the normal um, interface. What you can do is you can actually click on it and it brings up another interface, reflect what you want, um, whether it be eco, comfort, uh, and sport, this is what some of the newer cars have in it. Some of the F30s and F, even F80s. So very interesting uh, unit. I really don't regret uh, modifying the dash and hope that helps.